are going to be notes number nine. All right, we're going to be talking about central tendency and range. I want you to notice in the title, guys, we specify those as being two different things. Um, that's going to be very important. So central tendency, the key word in there is central. What does the word central mean? The middle, the center. All right, so guys, when we're talking about the center of a data set, the center of a data set, there are three different ways that we can find the center. And those are called the mean, the median, and the mode. The mean, the median, and the mode. All right, can we please not sing? It's very distracting. All right, um, central, central tendency is my mean, median, and mode. The range is actually a separate measurement, um, and we're going to talk more about that next week. It's a measurement of variation. What the range does, it doesn't tell me the center. It tells me how far apart my numbers are. So like if I have a, it's on my desk, if I have a really big number, that means my data set is really far apart from each other. If I have a smaller number, that means my data is really close to each other, all right? So we're going to start out with just talking about what the mean is. Now we talked last week about the mean and how it is actually just finding the average amount all right, we know that the average is centered because average is like it's not good, it's not bad, it's just in the middle, right? Um, and when we find the mean, what's our method for finding the mean? Does anyone remember from last week? Um, Brian? Average. It is the average, but how do I find that actual average? How do I do the computation? Caleb? You um, add and then you multiply and then you divide. So we're going to add all the numbers, that's correct. All right, my second step, we got a little off. After I add all the numbers, what do I have to do, Braxton? Count how many numbers there are. All right, and what am I going to do with that? And then after you count how many numbers there are, you divide by, oh, you don't make the case, you add all the numbers. So we're going to add and divide by the amount of numbers. So once I add them all up, we've got to divide by the amount of numbers. All right. Um, when we add them all up, one of the big things that we noticed um, on Thursday and Friday last week was sometimes we might miss a number. All right, that was a little challenging. Um, so sometimes we would skip a number or sometimes we would put an extra number in. So we've got to be really careful when we're doing this addition. And one thing that we're going to change up, so last week when we were just doing the mean, you could just add them in the order they were in. We didn't have to change them around, right? But now, guys, we're going to be not just doing the mean, but we're going to be doing the median as well. And the first step for the median is that our numbers must be in order. Our numbers must be in order. Now here's the thing guys, when I'm adding them up, if they were all in order, would that make it a little bit easier to make sure I don't miss any? Yeah, so guys, we're going to change it. They have to be in order for the median, but we're actually going to change our step one before we start doing any of these. The very first thing I want you to do when you're given a set of numbers is to put them in order. So we're going to, step one, order your numbers from least to greatest. Okay, and that kind of ran together. All right, so step one, we want to order our numbers from least to greatest. All right, technically for the mean, do you have to do that? No, no but we're going to have to when we do the median, so let's just go ahead and do that and get it out of the way. All right, so then we can, it can help us on every single aspect, okay? So for the median, they have to be in order, which we're going to go ahead and do before we start the problem. All right, and the way that we determine the median after the numbers are in order
we're going to choose the number in the middle. We're going to choose the number in the middle. So we're going to put our numbers in order and we're going to choose the number in the middle. Now, I know that as sixth graders, we um, might not be familiar with what the word median means outside of the classroom. All right, but eventually, like in probably like three or four years, y'all are going to be getting your permits, right? You know what? Permits. Yeah. I know what the three or four years, okay? So, guys, when you get your permit and you start driving on the road, yeah. it's really important you know what the median is because you don't want to drive there, right? The median is that section in the middle of the road. All right, do you drive on the median? No, no. no. Okay. All right, <laughs> you should not. That's a bad idea. All right, so for, guys, the... The way that I always remember the median, now again, it's because, you know, I'm at that driving point, but y'all are going to be there, so you might as well start learning these things, all right? I remember just because in life, the median's in the center of the road, the median in math is in the center, in the middle of the numbers, okay? Um, the, mode, the mode is the easiest. The mode's our favorite. The mode is just the number that appears the most. Does that mean that it's the highest number? No. no, it's the one that happens more than the others. Ellie? For median, like, what if you have an even number? Like, you have four numbers. That's a good question. So what Ellie just asked is, in the median, what if there isn't just one number in the middle? And we're going to look at an example of that. But I want us to think for a second. If I have two numbers in the middle... What could I do to find the middle of those two numbers? Okay, exactly. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the operations division. What we're going to do is we're going to find the mean of those two middle. So if we have two numbers in the middle, we're going to add them together and divide by two. Okay, if we have two numbers in the middle, we'll add together and divide by two, and we'll look at one of those examples at the end of the notes, okay? All right, um, mode is the one that appears the most. The range, okay, so all of these help me find, like, essential data or essential information. So, like, if you, on your test scores, all right, a lot of times I'll tell you the average, I'll tell you the mean. All right, another good number for y'all to know is actually the median. So, if all the test scores are put in order, what number is in the center? Because that's going to be the very middle score. All right, the mode could be beneficial, so let's hypothetical situation here. All right, let's say I give a test on Friday, a quiz on Friday, which I'll do have a quiz on Friday. All right, so let's say hypothetically um, 20 people in this class make a 46 out of 50. All right, and then the rest of the scores we don't know, all right? But if 20 out of 30 make a 46 out of 50, isn't that a pretty good indication that everyone did pretty well? All right. Um, some people might have made more than that. Some people might have made less. But if 20 people made a 46 out of 50, that mode, that number that appears the most, is going to give me a really good idea of what's going on. All right. Now, guys, sometimes you might have so special cases. You can have no mode, or you can even have more than one mode. All right. You can have no mode, or you can have more than one mode. All right. And we'll look at those examples in a second. Um, the range, the range tells me how far apart things are. It tells me the difference in the data. What does the word difference mean in math? Subtract. So that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to take the largest number. I'm just going to use the hashtag number symbol, okay? Minus the smallest number. And that's going to give me a range. That's going to tell me how far apart that information can be. Okay. All right. So, guys, on our homework tonight, you're going to find the mean, medium, mode, and range of every single problem. Tonight, we're just focusing on calculations, okay? We're going to continue to build and do more with that um, as the weeks progress. But for right now, we're just calculating. So, on number one and number two down here, we're going to go ahead and practice finding the mean, medium, mode, and range. What's the very first thing I want you to do? Before you try to calculate anything, what do I want you to go ahead and do first, Luke? Put them in order. So for number one, what's the first number? Four. Because we're going to go from least to greatest. Now, guys, you'll notice when I write down my four, I'm going to go ahead and mark it out. Why would I mark it out as I write it down? Nick? 
so I don't write it down again, so I don't skip anything, so I don't leave it out. When there's only five numbers like here, that's not that big a deal, but as we have more numbers, that's going to be helpful, okay? So after four, what do we have? 17. 17, and after 17? 19. And after 19? 20. 20, and then I still have a 20 left, so I'm going to write that one down as well. All right, what am I going to do? So we'll start with our mean. What am I going to do to calculate my mean? Raise your hand if you can tell me. Nick. Um, add 4, 17, 20, 19, and 20. Add 'em all up. 4, 17, 20, 19, 20. What do we get when we add them all up? Here's my fastest calculator. Raise your hand when you got it. Ellie. 80. 80. All right, but now we can't just add them up. 80 isn't the middle. Now what do I have to do to that, Nick? Divide it by five. What do I get when I divide that by five? Uh, Chloe? 16. 16. Excellent job. All right, guys, you'll notice I wrote the word mean, and I said, hey, here's how I found it. I put a colon next to it. If you don't tell me what you're finding, do I know which one you're calculating? No. No, you've got to label each thing that you're working on, okay? Can you just label it with an M? No. No, because there's... Medium. Medium and mode. So you got to like the whole thing, okay? They're not long words. Write them down. Put EMA. No. <laughs> you might as well put the in then. All right? So the median, all right? I want you to write the full word. Let's not get too lazy on me, guys. All right, so the median, now we got to find out what's in the center. All right, so again, this number, this number list is pretty short, isn't it? All right, I'm still going to show you the techniques I use because when number lists get really long, finding the middle is really easy to make a mistake. So what I do, guys, is I like to mark out one from each end. So I did 4 and 20. Then I'm going to do 17 and 20. So now that leaves me with 19. It leaves me with the middle number. And when my number lists are really long, it's going to help me to just mark them out as I go in. All right? Or you can start with your fingers and just work your way in. Either way. Okay? All right, what about my mode? What is my mode for this problem? Based on our definition, what do you all think the mode is? Um, uh, Allie Claire. 20. Why? Because uh, it appears twice. It appears twice and the others only are there once. Not because it's the largest number. It's because it is there more than the others. Okay? Um, what about the range? How am I going to find the range? Range. What is that going to be? Uh, Nick? 20 minus 4. 20 minus 4, which is 16. 16. 20 minus 4, which is 16. Okay, I showed my work. They're all labeled. You're good. All right, number two. Step one. What do we have to do first on number two? Um, Caleb. Put them, in order. Put them in order. Give them to me in order real quick, Caleb. 9, 21, 22, 25, 22. All right. And I'm just going to go through and mark them out. Just make sure I have them all. I have my 9. I have 21. I have 22. I have 25, and I have 28. All my numbers are marked out, so I have them all listed. Very good. All right, so to find my mean, what are we going to do first? Find our mean. And Chloe, what do we get? Mm, double check your math. 105. I got 105. Okay, is that what you said? Okay, okay. 105 is what we get. What do we divide by here? What do we divide by? It's all... Five, and what do we get when we divide by five? Very good, 21. All right, so 21 might not be exactly in the middle, but guys, our goal when we're looking at the mean, is it between my lowest and my highest? Yes. yes. okay, so it's somewhere in the middle of those, okay? Remember, the mean shouldn't be your, it's not always going to be exactly in the center, okay? The median, what about the median? What about the median? What do we get for our median? Abby Faith. 22. So if I look at these going from end to end, we got 22 in the center. The median is always going to be exactly in the center, correct? <coughs> Nick. Reverse and even amount of numbers later. We're going to look at that. We're going to look at that the next one. All right. Mode. What is my mode? There's none. Why is there no mode? They're all only there one time, okay? In some of the other classes, people have tried to say 28 is the mode. Remember, it's not the biggest number. It's the one that happens more than the others. <coughs> all of these are only here once, so you have to write no mode. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I saw some people today write down zero. 
Right? Is zero a number? Yes. 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 Zero is a number, guys. So if you put that the mode is zero, I'm going to look at your list and expect to see a lot of zeros. Are there any zeros here? No. <coughs> no. So can the number zero be my mode? No. No. So do not put zero. You have to actually write no mode, okay? <coughs> or you could put none. All right, um, range. What am I going to do to find the range? Oh. 20 minus 9, which gives me? 19. Okay. All right, guys, I want you to mark out that number 3. We're not going to do number 3. Well, 28, 28. Oh. 28. I'm sorry. No, hey, he did. Yeah, he did say 20. I just, sorry. 28 minus 9. I apologize. There isn't even a 20 up here. Big number 28 minus small number 9. That gives us 19. So you just look at the answer, right? You just said it. Yeah, I just said the complete wrong thing. Okay. Okay. We're marking out number three, but we still need a third example because there are still some of those special cases that y'all have asked about that we haven't seen. <coughs> Namely, what if we have two numbers in the middle? Okay. So our list of numbers. Please stop making weird noises. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So there's our list of numbers. All right. You are going to find the mean, median, mode, and range of those numbers. What's your first step? Put them in order. First step, put them in order. All right. First step, we want to put them in order. All right. So when I put them in order, what's that list going to look like now? Um, Nick. Three, four, three, four, six, six. How many are there? Okay, so we did three, marked it out, put all three of the fours, four, 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 mark them out, have our five, make sure you don't miss the five. There are two sixes, so we write those down, and the eight. All right, so now let's start doing our calculations. For the mean, what do I get when I add it all up? Caleb? 40. 40. And what am I going to divide by here, Ellie? Uh, eight. eight. There's eight numbers. And what do we get when we divide that, Nick? Five. Five. <coughs> all right, let's talk about the median. So this is the one that y'all have had some questions about, what to do here. All right, so if I look at the median, let's start on the outside and work our way in. There's 3 and 8, 4 and 6, 4 and 6. What happens when I get to the center? There is no center. There are two numbers here. So, guys, what I'm really looking for is I'm looking for the number in between 4 and 5. Now, hopefully, you can logically figure that out, but I'm going to show you the mathematical way to do it, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take my two numbers and we're going to add them together. We're going to find the mean of them. So we add and divide. So, shh. Please stop tapping your feet. Thank you. All right, so we're going to take our two numbers and we're going to add them together. We're going to do 4 plus 5, which gives us 9. Now, in the mean, we add and then we divide. What am I going to divide that 9 by? Taylor? Two. You notice she did not say eight. Did I add eight numbers together? No, I just added two. So we divide by two, and that gives us 4.5. And, guys, let's just double check. Would 4.5 be in the middle of four and five? Yes. Yeah. So that's our mean. Yeah, guys, if it's something obvious like that, you might not even need to do this calculation. If it's not so obvious, that's how you would calculate. Ethan. All right, let's do the range. All right, how am I going to calculate the range here? Um, Braxton? 8 minus 3, which gives us 5. Okay, so we have our mean, our median. Y'all, I missed the mode. I always go back and double check. The mode. What is my mode going to be, Brian? Why is it not 6? 6 is there twice. Why isn't the mode 6? Because four is there more, all right? If six, if six was also there three times, we could put both of them. 
But since four is there, more, we just need four. Yes. So it's possible if two of them have the same numbers. Ethan. Yes, it is possible for us to put more than one mode. Abby Faye. Um, Technically, you could put mode first, but in the directions, it's always going to say mean, medium, mode, and range. So when we're checking our homework, I'm going to have it set up, the mean, then the medium, then the mode, and then the range. So to make it easier on you checking, I would keep it in that order. To make it easier on me when I check, like, your test and things, I would appreciate you keeping it in that order. All right? Guys, our homework, if you want to get out your snack, you can. Please do that quietly. You need to copy this onto a piece of paper. Your homework is in your textbook. You're not getting a worksheet tonight. When you get home, you've got to use your textbook. <coughs> Make sure you're listening, please. On every single problem, I'm telling you your directions. Find the mean, medium, mode, and range. If the directions just tell you to find the mode, is that what you're supposed to do? Yeah. No, I want you to find all of them. You're doing 12 problems. Is that what it's going to say? That's what I'm telling you to do. Okay? So, for example, most of them, I think, do say find the mean, medium, mode, and range on all of them. All right? Guys, here they are. I'm going to put them up here so you can start because I know we don't have our textbooks with us. Okay? So that way you can get started. Ethan, question? Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. 